Hello friends, good to be with you as always. Thanks for taking a few moments to spend with me today. Um, this week is the start of the 18th season of the Faith and Life Lecture Series. It begins on Thursday, October 1st, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And this year's season kicks off with NFL Hall of Famer Mike Singletary, who uh, won the Super Bowl, I believe the year was in 1986. You may remember that that was the year they also did the Super Bowl Shuffle. Uh, I actually grew up in Chicago, so I watched all of that unfold. If you go back and find the Super Bowl Shuffle, maybe we'll link to it below. Um, it's amazing how far, among other things, video technology has come, I will say. Uh, anyway, because the season is starting, uh, I thought I would just say a few words about the uh, reason I began this uh, series uh, 18 years ago now. Uh, we've had 85 speakers. Um, they've ranged from authors and administrators and business leaders to poets and some uh, athletes, some professional athletes. Uh, we've had um, doctors and scientists and professors They've run the gamut. And uh, the vision for the series uh, from the beginning was that, I guess I'll lift up three points about it. One is that the speakers would be lay people primarily, rather than theologians or pastors. We've had some uh, theologians or trained theologians or pastors, but they've been a minority. Most of the individuals who've come and talked have been people who are in the everyday world of business, of uh, finance, of law, again, of doctors and so forth. And I think that's really important because they're speaking to normal people about normal Christians and how they live their faith out in their own particular kind of work. So that's the first point. These are lay people. Second point is, from the very beginning, I wanted to make sure this was not simply made up of Lutheran speakers. Now, why would I say that? Uh, St. Philip the Deacon Lutheran is a Lutheran church, obviously. I'm proud of our tradition. I celebrate our Lutheran tradition. But here's the thing, in the upper Midwest and in Minneapolis and St. Paul particularly, uh, we have Lutherans all over the place. This is actually the uh, heart of the Lutheran church in all of America. And my instinct was if people want to hear Lutheran speakers, they can find those all over the place. And I wanted to create uh, more of a diversity of speakers in terms of uh, the traditions that people were coming from. So the table stakes, the expectation is that the speakers are Christian, absolutely. But if you go back over the last uh, 17 years of these speakers, they come from every conceivable Christian tradition you can imagine. And that's intentional. And that brings up a sort of second subset of point number two. Again, not only Lutheran speakers, but speakers from all Christian traditions. And that's that the speakers have represented, and again, this has been intentional, a wide diversity of political beliefs. Now, the series is not primarily political. Um, in fact, I would argue that almost none of the speakers have spoken from a political perspective. But if you study the various speakers we've had, they come from left, right, center, up, down, all over the place. And I think, again, that that diversity of opinion has been a strength of the series. And the final thought um, is that uh, when we began this series, or when I started it again 17, 18 years ago, uh, I thought it was important to call it something sort of generic, thus faith and life, rather than, for example, uh, the St. Philip the Deacon lecture series. Why? Because I wanted to make sure people felt welcome there. And this has been a hugely important part of the um, tone of the series, which is that it is a gift to the community. It's a chance for individuals in our community to hear thoughtful, um, intelligent, bright, uh, articulate Christians speak about their faith, and it is absolutely not a bait and switch. The point of the series isn't to say, hey, I hope you'll come to this series so that we can convince you to join our church. Uh, if people come and they feel compelled to join some church, wonderful. If they feel like they want to be moved to join St. Philip the Deacon, Great, but that's not the intent. The intent is truly to give these talks away as a gift to the community. And to help us do that, I want to say a word of thanks to all of the individuals and uh, organizations who support the series. This is not, I've said this many times, it is not a budget item of St. Philip Deacon. It's, it's a service, uh, it's a ministry of St. Philip Deacon, but it is funded entirely through the gifts and the underwriting support of local organizations, local companies, and uh, local individuals. So to those of you who make this series possible, I want to say a strong word of thanks.
We're grateful that you're making this uh, 18th season possible and continuing to make it free to anyone who wants to join us. Um, this year, of course, as we start the series, it will be virtual only. So you can find uh, Mike Singletary's talk uh, at faith-and-life.org slash live stream. Um, and we do hope you'll join us on Thursday, October 1st at 7 o'clock to hear from this amazing football player. We'll see you then. As always, thanks for joining me. Be well, stay in touch, and God bless. Again, we're looking forward to seeing you Thursday, October 1st for the kickoff of this year's Faith and Life season. And here, with a few words about it himself, is Mike Singletary. Hello. Um, very excited about joining uh, you on uh, Thursday evening and, and really talking about some, some really cool things in leadership and talk about uh, faith and, and some of the things that uh, God has really taught me. Uh, very excited about the opportunity. Look forward to seeing you Thursday night, 7 o'clock. God bless. You got to watch for that quick pass to the right side. The quick pass to the back, out of bound formation, or even if it's flop, look at him lifting up. If it's flop over there and Sterling Sharp is on the inside guy, you got to be on it.